Why, hello there. It's the Archivist from TradingCardArchives.com, and I'm here today to take a look at some Sailor Moon cards. And as you can see from the title, we're also drinking some coffee. That's right, we're bringing back cards and coffee, probably just for this week. And the main reason is that uh, I have the week off of work, so I don't have to work in the morning. So I'm able to film in the morning. So that's uh, great. So I can get up and do my filming and drink my coffee. Uh, and as you can see, we've got some awesome sets here. We've got uh, this one, which is my current favorite Sailor Moon set. It's by uh, Moon Card, who you'd think is a company made for creating Sailor Moon sets, um, but they actually do make other sets besides Sailor Moon, but they make uh, quite a few different Sailor Moon sets. They make this one as well. Uh, but then this one over here is not from Moon Card. This is from a different company. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, actually, which company made this. Um, Hotaru, I guess, is the the name, um, but I love it because it, it has her cat on the front. So uh, that's the the main reason that I really like this set. Um, this particular set, Moon Card set, was really drawing me because the flyer had um, this type of card on it that I thought was a relic with a crystal in it from the sailor's boots. Uh, and so I was opening this. I opened probably like 12 boxes of this searching for that relic card uh, because I love the idea of anime relic cards. And I finally opened a box and it had two of them in it, uh, these two. And, and as you can see, it's not a relic, it's just an acrylic. So it's just a piece of acrylic in there uh, with printing of the boot. It doesn't actually have a relic inside. They're still numbered, which is cool. Like they're 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 great cards. I don't have a problem with them, uh, but it, it's not the chase I was. <laughs> I thought it was so a little bit disappointing there. But uh, that's kind of why I stopped opening that set. Um, but we have a few more here today. So what I thought we would do is we would open the rest of this box, um, just because you know we've we've opened it a, a few times before. We might as well finish it up here. We've only got uh, three packs left, so we'll open the rest of that box. And then uh, we will open almost all of both of these boxes. But what I want to do is save a few packs for a friend of mine. And the reason is because uh, she's the one who suggested that I buy this particular box. Uh, she wanted me to get this one so she could look at it and see uh, what was in it herself. And she's the one who told me it was a moon card set. I actually did not know this was a moon card set. Uh, and I, I can't show you the flyer for this one because I can't find it anywhere. Uh, believe it or not, this is an old set. This particular one was on AliExpress when I started the channel. I just didn't pick it up because uh, I, I guess I just didn't understand what it was back then. And I, I didn't know it was Moon Card. If I did, I would have bought it because I, I love Moon Card cards. Um, but there are a lot of Sailor Moon sets. There's like 30 different ones. Uh, they're all unlicensed, so everything you see on AliExpress, from what I know, is unlicensed. I think there's like one or two Bandai ones uh, that are licensed. They cost a lot more though, so you'll you'll know because they're 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 like hundred dollar ones. Um, but these all the lower price ones are are unlicensed, um, including this Moon Card one. So what I'm gonna do though is we're gonna open up most of this, but maybe save like a couple packs. Uh, oh, it's actually the box is taped. That's interesting. <laughs> you don't see that too often. Uh, but yeah, I'll save a couple packs because that way what I can do is mail her this box with some of the packs in it. Uh, I think that would be a nice uh, a nice thing. So here we go. Uh, well, it looks like we got our, our hit, uh, sort of a hit card. Um, Moon card always puts these tickets in. I don't have any here right now, uh, but they put tickets like this in... Uh, into their other their other box too. When you opened a, a new box, you would get a ticket like this. So that's pretty that's pretty cool. Put that right there. And then it looks like we have a hit pack. This is a very pretty uh, hit pack actually. And then we got some regular packs. What we got here: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 regular packs. Okay, so 10 regular packs. And those are definitely Moon Card 
uh, Sailor Moon cards. And that's a nice, a nice solid box. You've got a good clasp to it. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll just kind of pack a couple in here and we'll, uh, we'll probably ship that back to her. Actually, maybe I'll pick them now just so that we don't, uh, corrupt the process of opening here. How about we pick that one and that one. So those two will go, we'll go to her from there. And then this uh, box is one that I had just picked up because I thought it was cute and had the cat on it. I can show you the flyer for this because I do have that. Uh, this is a newer box. Um, so let's flip over and take a look at the flyer. Here it is. This is actually where I bought mine from. Um, although I got mine when it was on sale, so it was uh, slightly cheaper uh, when I got it. There will be another sale uh, coming soon, the Black Friday sale. Or actually, I think it might be running right now. Uh, but but anyway, yeah, if, if that sale's running in your country, you can get this cheaper uh, as a result. Um, but here's the flyer. Uh, again, this is by a company called Hotaru Culture. Uh, I, I don't think I've opened anything from them before, uh, but we can see the, the different kinds of hit packs that could have been in here. Uh, so we'll see when we open ours which ones we get. There's a purple and a white version of the box. I was hoping for the purple version just because you know me, I love purple. Uh, but we did get the white version, but that, that's okay. That's not, not too big of a problem. Uh, and then here's a set breakdown. So this kind of gives you the different rarities and their tiers. Wow, there's a lot. Actually, there's a lot. There's a lot. Uh, and then these are the kinds of prizes that are available because this set has a lot of uh, redemption prizes with it. Uh, there's all the different card types uh, in their smaller version. We'll look at larger versions too. Here's some of the redemptions. You've got, you know, different kinds of wands and binders, stuff like that. Uh, and then we have the card types. And you can see the cards are pretty exciting. I mean, these are obviously the top hit cards. But we've got these kind of medallions, um, these sort of spinners, uh, this, these just epic looking gallery print paintings. I mean, those things look amazing. Uh, you've got these kind of like costume cards, which are like bonkers. Like, I, I absolutely love stuff like that. So you know me, I, I'm all about the gimmick cards. Uh, this would be cool, like kind of a driver's license card. Die cut stained glass, like please give it to me. I'll take all the die cut stained glass you have. Um, acrylic game cards, yes, interested. You know, ba basically, I looked at this flyer and I was just like, yes, every single thing on here I want. Uh, so I definitely was super interested. I mean, look at this. You've got like these, uh, I don't even know what to call that, like crazy psychedelic art style uh, paintings of them. Uh, I'm sure a lot of it's AI or stolen artwork. If you know for sure, let me know. I'm always interested in learning. Um, but, you know, even the QRs are, uh, they're, they're Halloween theme and stained glass. Like, oh my God, please give me all of that. I'll take all of it. So, yeah. And these images, like this image, we've seen before on other cards, but now uh, it'll be on, on these cards. <laughs> Hopefully thicker cards. There are some puzzles, but, you know, we've got to deal with puzzles. Uh, and yeah, like I said, there's a lot of Sailor Moon sets out there, so uh, it, it's hard to pick them to buy. <laughs> like, it's honestly one of the reasons that I very rarely buy Sailor Moon sets. It's like something I do maybe once every six or seven months. And it's just because there's so many, and they're all unlicensed, and I get the impression a lot of them aren't aren't very good. So, uh, I think it's tough to find uh, good ones, but we'll see if this one is. Uh, so I was hoping the box would have like some texture on it, because it looks like it should, right? But it doesn't have any texture. That's all fake. Uh, so let's get this opened. Um, kind of a. a very plain uh, box as far as that goes. Uh, very thin ticket card here. So I guess we know we got one of the thin tickets as one of our hits. Uh, but there's actually a couple different hits in this set. So here's another hit pack. And then we've got some regular pack. What we got here? We got uh, six of those. Probably what, six on the other side? Five on the other side. Five, so eleven. 
Oh, it's under the tray. That would be a bad box. Cool. And then we'll just grab, like I said, uh, the, do basically the same thing here. We'll just take maybe this pack and this pack. And we'll send that to her. And then also any dupes we pull today or, or cool cards and stuff, we'll put in there too. And we'll just send that as a little gift box uh, over to her later on. For now, let's get to opening. And I kind of want to open the older moon card cards first. I think I'll cover them up. Let's open these first and see, uh, see what we can get. And then we'll move into the, the newer sets. Newer, that one's super old. So yeah, I guess uh, new to us sets. <laughs> now these, I have a lot of these because I've opened, like I said, 12 boxes or so. Uh, so, so I have quite a few. I think I actually have a complete set of, this is the base, these kind of glitter printed cards like that. Uh, they they look cool, but yeah, they are they are just just the base. Uh, this is a PR or QR. Sorry, definitely looks like AI artwork. We're we're not sure, but uh, we think it is. And then that is a puzzle piece. I'm just gonna drink uh, drink some coffee here. Remember, it is technically cards and coffee. I didn't want to get through my coffee. Another one of those very cool uh, base cards. Which again, I just, I think I have a full set of them. At least I, I might even have two full sets of those. Because you get, you get one in every single pack. The Polaroids here, the PLDs, uh, feature animated uh, images from the anime. And then the SLPs are the staff cards. This is actually a very high rarity. That would count as kind of a big hit, this, this card right here. <laughs> Even though I know it doesn't look like much, um, but that, that would count as a big, a big ish hit from the set, at least. This pack is a little bit heavy. I wonder if it has a UR in it, if I had to guess. Yeah. See that super thick card? That's going to be a UR. <laughs> and it, it looks like it's going to be some crazy, crazy thing, but it's just a UR. Uh, but they, they, I mean, they do look cool, but they are, they're not, they're not like massive numbered hits or anything like that. There's a Polaroid again. Another QR. What I love about the URs, though, is they're like grim dark. So that's Sailor Saturn, but she's like Warhammer style. Uh, and then I don't know if you can tell, but the reason it was so heavy is it has a, a, a an acrylic coating on it that is kind of like a curved surface. So it sort of has this curved lens surface to the front. And very difficult to sleeve these. <laughs> They won't fit in a regular sleeve. Very thick sleeves for these. Almost like a you almost you almost need like a team bag to hold them. Alright, so those are classic uh, Sailor Moons. Nothing too crazy there, but I think what we can do is maybe keep. I'm gonna keep those four on the table for now. We'll probably move them in a little bit here, but just for now, we'll keep those for now. And the rest of these will put aside. And then let's take a look at the next set of loan cards. So this is the red box. We have never looked at this before, and uh, I've never seen the flyer either, so I have no idea at all what is in this set. Like, zero clue. Uh, but we're, we're going to find out together. Oh my, there's something kind of, do you see it got kind of like pinched or something? I don't understand. I hope it's not damaged. Oh gosh. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let me see here. Okay. So it's a, it's an MR. 
It's a very, uh, very pretty card. The front looks fine, but the back clearly has some, some like bite marks. I don't even know what is that. <laughs> what, what happened to this trading card? I can't think of any machine in the printing process that has maybe like a clamp picked it up too hard. Maybe they have the pressure set too hard. But then why didn't the front get damaged? Because the front is actually like completely fine. It's like warped, crazy warped too. That is a, okay, I'm going to stop talking about that card, but that is a really damaged trading card. Oh my god. It also needs a team bag because it's so big and warped. Uh, eesh. okay. Well, um, hey, we're we're starting strong. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh, this is kind of cool. Um, let me get a. Do I have any blanks? I don't have any blanks. Is like there. Oh, we can see the acrylic on it. But that's an LR. Very cute. A little uh, acrylic um, piece there. We're going to need some new sleeves. Everyone always asks me what sleeves I use. I, I use cardboard gold sleeves. You can't buy these, like, you can't buy just a pack like this online. Uh, you have to buy them by a case online, so you have to buy a hundred packs at a time, which is a big investment because you're going to pay like sixty dollars for that. But if you think about it, uh, you're getting your sleeves then at like half of the price you would get them at a store, or even like less than that, right? Because that pack, that pack of sleeves is probably going to be like two dollars at a hobby shop, uh, whereas I'm getting it for like sixty cents. So, uh, yeah, so consider that <laughs> um, but yeah if you need sleeves that's the ones i use and they're just standard size sleeves nothing uh nothing crazy although i do have the thicker ones there someday i'll do a like card types video and uh kind of show you all the supplies and stuff i use because there, there's there's a lot like you end up with a lot of like random things i think i have like six different types of top loaders and uh it just you just need different sizes over time and uh for, for different types of things like there's the standard ones where you need thousands and then there's others where you need like 10. <laughs> so. okay it looks like all these packs got a little bit warped or or kind of grabbed in a, in some way Oh my, there's something sleeved. That is rare. Okay, we don't really see that too often. Whew. These are great. I mean, just beyond the damage, right? They're awesome cards. I mean, you can see echoes of the newer set in this, right? Because you can see kind of that same art style being used here. Although here it's unframed and here it's framed. And then we have a UR. Nice looking UR here. And then this um, special card, I guess, which again came came sleeved, but not well sleeved. So I'm gonna uh, this sleeve. You can see it's a like cloudy. I'm gonna get a better sleeve on that on that card. It, it is another one that's going to need a team sleeve, though, so can work out today. Very, very thick card. And it says, uh, Sailor Moon is calling, and it has accept or decline. <laughs> it's a PR. And not numbered. But from the look of it, I'm guessing this piece can pop out, if I had to guess. <laughs> I, I don't want to break it, so I'm not going to find out. But that's that would be my guess on my part. Pretty wild. 
Uh, let's keep going and just see, see what we can get. Moon card's fun. I, I, like I said, I enjoy opening moon card just because of the kind of crazy gimmicks and variety that you, that you can find in their sets. Here we go. Got another kind of really thick card in here. Maybe space. Yeah, they really are like the same art. I think the the same art even, just a different frame on it. And then that's a dupe. <laughs> so I'll put that in the box uh, for her because that's a dupe. So I'll give this to my friend. Oops. She gets that. And then this is an MR. So this is the same class as that one, but it doesn't have the weird bite marks on the back. Just uh which is nice. <laughs> Keep going. Almost done with Moon Card Box 2 here. Then we'll move on to the uh, Hotaru uh, Culture set, I guess. What do we got here? Oh, another UR. A cute one here. This one says Happy Birthday on it. <laughs> happy Birthday, Sailor Moon. It's actually her birthday. with no bite marks. <laughs> I, should, I shouldn't have to check my trading cards for bite marks. I just, that shouldn't, that, that shouldn't be a thing I have to do. I, of all the things I have to do, it shouldn't be that. That shouldn't be one. There's a reason I don't let my cats in this room. It's that I don't have bite marks on my trading cards. <laughs> It's a kind of a cool image on there. Another puzzle piece. Looks like we actually got a puzzle piece that fits. That's kind of cool. I can, um, I can put those together for you. Oh, I'm totally wrong. Sorry. They were there at least a part apart. I'm sorry. Gosh. Uh, never mind. They don't fit at all. <laughs> then we have, what is this? I actually can't tell what kind of card that is. A Z... ZP. ZP. And one more pack of Moon card. Then we'll move on. So we got a pretty interesting pull there, so I'm, I'm like, kind of... <laughs> Kind of happy with that whatever like i don't really know much about it and without the flyer i can't even guess at its rarity uh but it but it seems kind of neat to have this is sort of off printed you can see how sort of off centered that print is on that not the best and then this is a dupe puzzle piece so i'll put that in the box for her as well I, I don't know if she actually wants a puzzle piece. And then this is a dupe ZP, so hey, you get a ZP too. Maybe that's a, a big pull. I, I, again, without the flyer, I can't tell. But I'll put those in too. And don't worry, I'll pack this a little better. It won't be just loose pack like this. I'll put top, top loaders around that and stuff. Okay, let's move on then. And, uh, wait, we've got to clear this table here. Let me, sorry, i got to clear the table. Let's, uh, keep a couple cards here. Not the puzzles. 
Maybe we'll keep that LR. Yeah, okay, so that's what we're gonna kind of keep here. The rest we'll put aside. And then we'll move on and uh, we'll just keep going. <laughs> We've got uh, even more Sailor Moon cards to look at. Now this is Hotaro Culture's set. Which, as you saw from the flyer, is a massive, huge set. Uh, very, very big. Lots of cards. We'll see if they're any good. <laughs> uh, so the first one here is that same image. So, like I said, we've seen that image on, on cards before, so it's not too special. Uh, this one, it looks okay, but again, it's just kind of, it looks to me like, you know, they just took marketing art or, or fan art or something and printed it. It doesn't seem as, you know, gimmicky and, and cool as the, the moon card cards, for example. It does seem like you're going to get maybe one of these in every single pack. There's a Sailor Neptune. A little bit more coffee here. Oh, it is cars and coffee after all. There's a Mercury. Mm -hmm. Let's just uh, keep going here. Let me know in the comments if Sailor Moon is something you enjoyed watching as a kid, or or even now if you still like watching it. Uh, I, I still watch an episode every once in a while. It, it's a, I mean, the show has some charm to it. It's got, it's actually pretty funny in a lot of ways. So uh, I, I don't mind it at all. Looks like we got some good hits here. There's a nice ZR, very kind of very pretty card. And then we got one of the Halloween cards. I love it. I actually really love that card. You know me, I love my stained glass and then also Halloween themed. It's a, a lovely, a lovely piece. That's a beautiful card. Love it. So those made the box for me, actually. I'm really happy with those. Uh, mostly with the, the WR. But yeah. They're both nice. I think I have a... Oh, we got another ZR. Cool. I think I have a box of the moon cards set in uh, in the giveaway pile, too. So another ZR. Pretty card there. And then another one of the Halloweens. Amazing! So we got two of those. That's epic. Like, really, when I was looking at the flyer, I was like, this is... If there's a card in there that I want, it's that one. So getting two of them is... Uh, kind of fantastic. Like I'm over. The, I'm like super happy about that. I'm over the moon, over the sailor moon. <laughs> Two more here. Looks like we got a kind of Polaroid card again. So that is an MR rated card. And then this one is an SR. Okay, SR. Really kind of intricate pattern work to it.
I sort of feel like there's something... I don't know. I get the impression that there's supposed to be another layer here. <laughs> I get the impression. Uh, just my knowledge of printing and stuff is telling me this. Let me pause. I'm going to go check the fly. I'm going to go see if there's a printing error or not. I'll be right back. And yeah, yeah, check this out. So see the fly over here? Uh, see this, pur this uh, purple one? That's the one I just pulled. It's supposed to have a purple bow. So there's supposed to be like another layer of printing over this card that just didn't happen. <laughs> printing error? In a, in a Western set, something like that could end up being worth a lot of money. Uh, in, in a set like this, it's probably just an error. <laughs> but uh, Still kind of a cool thing to see, right? And to notice, so uh, that's kind of fun. Obviously, Moon Card is the better of these two sets, in case you were wondering, uh, and it wasn't clear already. <laughs> Ooh, that's uh, that's actually very pretty, though, whatever that is. Let me see if I can figure out what that is. Is that just an SSR? It's just an SSR, so it just has a lot of treatment on it. It has a lot, though. Uh, and then this is a puzzle piece. At least it's a double-sided puzzle, so you can, you know, you, you could collect them both, theoretically. <laughs> I prefer a double-sided puzzle to just two puzzles, because then there's only nine puzzle cards and not 18. Unless it's an 18-piece puzzle, then, then I really don't like it. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I've got an MR here. Cool looking card. And then this one actually looks very nice. So that's a, a DR. It has kind of, you know, that anime style. On behalf of the Sailor Moon, eliminate you. <laughs> that's cute. That one, uh, that might be one of, well, I guess I like the Halloween ones better, but that, that card is kind of a cool, cool looking card. It certainly beats what I was opening in the first few packs. Then we've got three more packs of this left. Ooh, we got another SSI. Very good looking uh, SSI there. And then another one of these base, I believe. Maybe not. It looks different, doesn't it? It does look different. There's not really a marking on it. Unless I'm, uh, I guess there's not a marking on, on many of these. <laughs> I, I can't tell what that is. I'm so sorry. Uh, it, it, it doesn't have like a code on it. Keep going. It just, it looks similar, but it, it does have like slightly different styles. So I think it is a different card. It just... Uh, looks looks kind of similar. Another one of these MRs. That oil oil foil. I I, I love. I was like that. Uh, and then it's an N rarity. N I guess. It's got that got this like bubble. Um, bubble bubble refractor on it. This one's got texture on the back too, so it must be a kind of a bigger hit. Uh, just <laughs> not not numbered or anything, but a good good looking card. And here's our last regular pack, and then we'll dig into those hip pack. There's what are there? There's three of them up there. Well, I think at least two of them are tickets. But we'll see. We got an R <laughs> with 
I don't think is rare, but it, it might be. I don't know. It looks so nice. Like, this looks like one of the nicer cards I've pulled, and it's just a rare. Here's a you are. Song mode. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna call AI hard on that. Okay. Well, uh that's the regular packs. I, I don't know, what do you think? Like for me, the moon cards are definitely the better of them. Uh I still think the blue box moon card, the newer moon card set is the better set. I think this one had some good gimmicks in it, but the damage to the cards was just too high, right? There's just a lot of damage. Uh, and then over on this side, I think the, the, the Halloween cards are very cool, but the rest of them are just so uh, that I, I I hesitate to uh, recommend that set. I think unless you really, you if you really liked what you saw, of course, you know, pick it up. But uh, you, you'd have to re really like it, basically. And so this is a hit pack, but I think it's just going to be like some kind of ticket card, uh, just because the shape of it, basically. Uh, so these are kind of like bookmarks or uh, tickets, basically. They 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 look like this. Uh, you, you'll see nicer ones, like this is a moon card version that we pulled. Uh, it looks really cool, right? And has some great glitter on it and good design. Uh, whereas this one looks very uh, pedestrian and is kind of badly cut right it has like this black line on there so that's not as nice but can happen and so here's the hit pack from the Hotaro set oh it's got a foiled edge it is numbered uh, numbered to 399 So we got 35 out of 399, and it is a KR. And so this is one of those double, there's like two layers to the card. You can kind of see it if I go like that. Um, but basically there's like the bottom layer and then this frame layer on top. Uh, it reminds me of what was called the LRs in uh, Chainsaw Man. They all had uh, almost exactly the same die cut as that, too. But that's a very traditional frame design, so... Yeah, but interesting card. Uh, definitely cool to get a, a numbered card, although 399 is a pretty high numbered card, so that's not super special or anything. Um, but still kind of cool to get. Um, yeah, okay. Off of this. Oh, that's got a red border and like a little pearl on it. <laughs> that's going to be pretty wild too, I bet. Uh, all right, let's check it out. Oh my god, to 50. All right, so numbered to 50. Wow. It's got like multiple inset uh pearls i have no idea how to store something like this <laughs> i was saying earlier like i have many supplies for things but i don't know that i have one for something like this uh huh let me let me pause and go check my supply cabinet over there. I have to get up and go over there. Uh, I'll go see if I have anything that fits that. I'll be right back. But these are the biggest top loaders I have. They are 130 point uh, top loaders. You can see they're super thick. They're made for like football jersey relics. I am not sure it's going to fit in here. I mean, maybe. Nope. No, it's not going to. If the raised pearls are too high, it won't fit in that. Uh, okay. Let's try something else. 
how about a one? These usually hold two forty point cards. Uh, so this is called a one touch. It it uses a magnetic uh, lid, which is not much harder to remove than you'd think. Uh, God, that is definitely not going to hold that card. Nope, there's no way. Okay. Um. Well, I'll figure something out. Um, but for now, I think you have to understand that some trading cards, they don't fit in anything like that. Uh, but still, how amazing. Uh, to 50? That's uh, pretty epic. Uh, can't can't go wrong with that. So yeah, we had a pretty good day here today with Sailor Moon cards. I'm happy with our polls. I uh, hope you are too. And uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you thought of the video in the comments. And otherwise, have a great rest of your week. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.